EATEC OGL EATEC OGL is a compact, lightweight, and rugged laser sight designed for law enforcement and military use. It is powered by a single CR123 battery and has a runtime of up to 9 hours. The OGL features a 5 mW infrared laser that is invisible to the naked eye, but can be seen through night vision devices. It also has a unique sliding lever that controls the beam divergence of the IR illuminator, making adjustments from spot to flood fast and easy. The OGL is designed to be used with a variety of weapon platforms, including rifles, shotguns, and handguns. It is easy to mount and adjust, and it provides a fast and accurate aiming solution in low-light conditions. IAI Point Blank IAI Point Blank refers to a hand-launched, electro-optical guided missile system developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI. It is a relatively new weapon, unveiled in 2022, designed to provide ground-based troops with enhanced attack and maneuvering capabilities. High Precision capable of striking targets with exceptional accuracy with a circular error probability CEP of just one meter real-time engagement allows troops to attack swiftly and directly eliminating the need for support personnel or additional targeting equipment range and endurance has a range of up to 10 kilometers and can remain airborne for up to 20 minutes Elbit Systems Lanius The Elbit Systems Lanius is a drone-based loitering munition, also known as a kamikaze drone or suicide drone. It's part of the Legion X robotic and autonomous combat solution, designed for short-range operations in urban environments. Highly maneuverable, can navigate tight spaces and obstacles in urban environments. Versatile, can carry both lethal and non-lethal payloads, making it suitable for a variety of mission profiles. Autonomous, can be programmed to fly predefined routes or use video analytics to autonomously identify and engage targets. Video analytics, uses video to determine entry points into structures, map interiors, and identify combatants and non-combatants. PL-01 Concept The PL-01 Concept was a Polish light tank project developed by Obram with assistance from BAE Systems. It was based on the Swedish CV-90120T light tank and unveiled at the International Defense Industry Exhibition in Kjeltse in 2013, though the project was scrapped in 2015. Engine, diesel, exceeding 940 horsepower, 700 kilowatts. Transmission, automatic with torque converter and driving assistance. Armament, 120 mm smoothbore main gun, 30 mm cannon, 7.62 mm machine gun. Mobility, excellent off-road capabilities, can climb 30 degree slopes and cross obstacles. Inflatable Military Decoys Inflatable military decoys are a surprisingly versatile and valuable tool in modern warfare. They come in a variety of forms, each with its own specific uses and advantages. Military vehicles, tanks, APCs, trucks, and jeeps are common inflatable decoys used to deceive enemy reconnaissance or draw fire away from real assets. Inflatable aircraft like fighters and drones are also used for similar purposes. Training targets, inflatable tanks, planes, and boats are frequently used in military training exercises, providing low-cost, realistic targets for practicing combat skills. Cost-effective, compared to deploying real military hardware, inflatable decoys are significantly cheaper to produce and maintain.
Mobility and deployment. They are lightweight and easily transportable, allowing for rapid deployment and repositioning as needed. JFD Shadow Nav. JFD Shadow can refer to a few different things depending on the context. This is the most common meaning of JFD Shadow. It's a closed circuit rebreather system used by special forces divers for underwater operations. It offers extended dive times, stealthy operation, and reduced logistical burden compared to traditional open circuit scuba gear. This is a specialized buoyancy jacket designed for combat swimmers. It allows for precise buoyancy control both above and below the water, while keeping the back area clear for equipment and mobility. The Stinger It's actually not just one specific vehicle, but the name of a light combat armored vehicle family created by the Israeli company Plazen. Urban warfare, their compact size and agility make them ideal for navigating tight city streets and engaging in close quarters combat. Law enforcement, the strong armor and firepower provide protection for officers during high-risk situations. Peacekeeping operations, the ability to mount different weapon systems and communicate with other security forces makes them adaptable to diverse peacekeeping scenarios. Overall, the Stinger is a powerful and adaptable armored vehicle that has gained popularity with numerous military and law enforcement agencies around the world. Drone Gun Tactica The Drone Gun Tactical is a counter drone system developed by Australian company Drone Shield. It is a portable, handheld device that emits a radio signal that disrupts the communication link between a drone and its operator. This causes the drone to either land automatically or return to its takeoff point. The Drone Gun Tactical has a range of up to 2 kilometers and can be used to disable a variety of drones, including commercial and hobbyist models. It is a non-kinetic system, meaning that it does not physically harm the drone. This makes it a safe and effective way to neutralize unwanted drones. Panther KF-51 The Panther KF-51, a formidable beast indeed. It's no wonder you're interested in this cutting-edge main battle tank. What specifically would you like to know about it? Overview, I can provide a general introduction to the Panther KF-51, its development by Rainmetal, and its intended role on the battlefield. Technical specifications, we can delve into the details of its firepower, including the powerful 130mm rain metal future gun system, protection systems, mobility, and other technical features. Comparison with other tanks, if you're curious, I can compare the Panther KF-51 to other prominent tanks like the Leopard 2 or the Abrams M182 SEPV-3. Zubra class hovercraft. Ah, the mighty Zubra class hovercraft. These behemoths of the seas, and sometimes land, are truly fascinating machines. I can tell you a lot about them, depending on what specifically interests you. History and design. Learn about the Soviet origins of the Zubra, its development under the Cold War, and its unique features that make it the world's largest hovercraft. Technical specifications, dive into the details of its size, payload capacity, speed, range, and the powerful engines that make it glide over water and land. Music 
military capabilities, understand how the Zubra is used for amphibious assaults, transporting troops and vehicles onto beaches, and even laying mines. High Energy Laser Weapon System High Energy Laser Weapon Systems, HELWS, are emerging as a cutting-edge technology with the potential to revolutionize warfare. These systems use concentrated beams of light to destroy or disable targets, offering a number of advantages over traditional kinetic weapons. Speed of light, lasers travel at the speed of light, making them ideal for intercepting fast-moving targets. Precision, HELWS, can precisely target specific components of a vehicle or aircraft, minimizing collateral damage. Power Requirements High-powered HELWS requires significant amounts of energy, which can be a challenge for mobile platforms. Atmospheric Effects Weather conditions like fog or rain can scatter the laser beam, reducing its effectiveness. Several countries, including the United States, China, and Russia, are actively developing and testing HELWS. The Mantis RCWS It's a pretty impressive piece of military technology. Mantis stands for Modular Advanced NATO Turret Integrated System. It's a series of remote-controlled weapon stations, RCWS, designed by EVP Defense. Mantis, designed for heavier weaponry like 12.7mm machine guns and 30-40mm grenade launchers. Mantis Mini, a more compact version for lighter weapons like 7.62mm machine guns. Modular, can be mounted on various platforms like light armored vehicles, boats, and stationary positions. Stabilized, uses 4 axes, 2 plus 2, for azimuth and elevation movement, ensuring accurate firing even on rough terrain. <music>